Hi, this is Mel. I'm here with Edge Inner West Festival and Pops Art by the Inner West Council and I'm here talking with artists on the edge. Today I've got the beautiful Mia with me. Hi. Hi. Hey girl. Hey girl. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about what kind of creative you are, what you do? Yes. Uh, so I'm a makeup artist and I also host events and really like to get into performing as well. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much I love right. that. <laughs> um, what's the most recent thing you've worked on? Um, so I did a shoot in collaboration with Blackbirds. <gasps> uh, did the makeup wow. or the, any um, concept that's coming out mm. soon, I think cool. in 2020. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Amazing. Yes. If you guys don't know who Blackbirds is, they're a theater collective run by Pacific Islander women for Pacific Islanders telling stories of the Blackbird trading. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Now, in regards to that last shoot, yes. tell me what the inspirations were or what <laughs> what drove you to want to create that work. Um, so, they're, firstly, they're one of a really powerful co collective that I really feel very connected to. Um, as firstly, a lot of the people, the large part of the collective are all people that I hold dearly in my heart and that I really love and all of the concepts and the narratives that they are pushing is so important mm. um, in, especially in the times that we are in today um, and especially in a very you know white and <laughs> supremacist like state of country that we're living yeah that's just always you know it's so important for um, people of color to have their voices heard mm. and often it's lost mm. but through these collectives it's elevated and it's projected yes it's yes preach it <laughs> bra bra <laughs> um can you tell me why you think that our society our communities need artists yeah definitely um personally i grew up in a very like academic um surrounding in the sense where that was the only narrative that was pushed for me mm. and I reached a very a, a very dark point in my life where it wasn't I, I felt really lost and disconnected from who I am and through exploring my art and through art I think I really found a large part of myself mm. and was able to connect with other people that were just are just beautiful and that I could that, that I relate to that I can go with and so I think society is extremely important to you know be heard and to be seen for yourself mm. and also to um, explore and uh, yeah explore narratives and ideas that you know is within yourself yeah. and to allow that for the world to see that because there's so many diff different people from different walks of life mm. and that, and the way that art connects us all is, I think, what is the integral and most important part of having art in our society. Yes. And can you tell me why you choose to live in the inner west? Um, so I'm, I was born and raised in Cape Town, South Africa, and coming to Sydney with felt very far and alienating for me. There wasn't anyone I could relate to. I didn't know wh who I was or where I was going or what this journey meant for me. Um, but I have a very distinct memory of first riding through Newtown on the bus and be like, what is this place? <laughs> this is amazing. And I think that the Inner West, all throughout the West, I've made the most meaningful and most beautiful connections with other artists, with mm. friends, with other beautiful souls, and I think that's that's definitely was my main reason for wanting to live here because this is where I was able to establish and find myself in this new city. I love yes. that. <laughs> you are definitely belong in the inner West. Oh, uh, thank you so much. And one last question: What do you need? to not only survive but thrive in the inner west mm -hmm. i think so I've, I've only been living here for a few months and only for about a year and a half in sydney um 
but from what I've heard from other people, from conversations, from articles, from doing research, I've um, come to know that it's been, you know, it's becoming hella gentrified. Yes. And because of that, it's pushing prices up and all people in most gentrified areas are always people of color and ethnic people and queer people as well and I think because of those identities it really puts a sh that cause it, it we're sort of it sort of um, has a very intersectional link with um, our livelihood our economic status mm. and the class that we form part of mm. and I think by these prices by the prices going up of rent and just of the general living um, cost of living in the inner west i think that puts a large strain on our community mm, so more affordable um, more affordable mm. housing um more affordable spaces that we can mm. use as artists um and also i think just more support from our community yeah. and um just an understanding and um sort of cementing what the inner west means to people mm. and what space it's been for people yeah and for that to be established like, Respect it. Yeah. Thank you so much, beautiful. Yay, thank Yay. you. <laughs>